After years of criticising the Howard government's Pacific solution for asylum seekers, Labor looks set to make Papua New Guinea home once more to an offshore processing centre. The opposition says the plans for Manus Island are a major backflip, while refugee advocates are lamenting what they describe as a backward step. It's been a torrid few months for the government on asylum seeker policy, with riots on Christmas Island and at Villawood in Sydney. Some who are among the most prominent of critics of offshore processing are changing their stance and say that keeping asylum seekers out of Australia's legal regime may be the only way to stem the flow of boats. The ABC's co-host from 7.30 in Canberra, Chris Yulman, has the latest. The flames at Sydney's Villawood Detention Centre in April were a sign of a border protection system in crisis. Has the government lost control of detention centres? No, we've had significant issues last night, of course, at Villawood. The violence came a month after similar riots on Christmas Island. Are you in a circumstance at the moment where you have lost control of this facility? Uh, no, I don't think so, but it is a serious situation which is under management and is getting it's the it. intensive resources from me, my department and the Australian Federal Police. Signs the detention system was buckling under the weight of asylum seekers have been obvious for a year. In September there were breakouts in Darwin. The demands for ever more beds saw detention centres spring up on Commonwealth land in the Adelaide Hills. When did this become a dictatorship? Where? And north of Hobart. They're building the bloody place down. Another appeared on an Air Force base in far north Queensland. And in Western Australia, the Curtin Detention Centre was reopened, then expanded. Now a desperate government appears to be seeking to revive a policy it once reviled. We have committed to ending the so-called Pacific Solution. Uh, we would not have offshore processing uh, in Manus Island and Nauru. Papua New Guinea is considering a request to open a regional processing centre. Minister, is there going to be a deal? Are we going to reopen Manus? <laughs> Australian government officials have visited the remote Manus Island, about a thousand kilometres north of Port Moresby in the Bismarck Sea. It was once an Australian Navy base. Is Manus home? Island a live option for that uh, regional solution? Well, let me just say, we uh, pursue discussions across the region. We've been doing that very patiently and methodically. And when I have something to announce arising from those discussions, then I'll announce it. The Pacific Solution was the name given to the Howard government's offshore detention policy. It began in 2001 when Australia's islands were excised from the migration zone and asylum seekers found in those waters were shipped off to detention centres on Manus Island and Nauru. It's history that that brought Australia into international condemnation, uh, but now we've got the Gillard government taking uh, the western half of that solution by looking at uh, re-establishing that effective prison for asylum seekers on Manus Island. The Prime Minister said only a year ago, less than a year ago, that she thought putting asylum seekers on Pacific Islands was costly, unsustainable and wrong as a matter of policy. Uh, now, clearly she's had a humiliating back down. The critics of the policy point out that most of those sent into exile eventually made their way to Australia. Free, free the refugees! But supporters of the Pacific Solution say it effectively shut down the people smuggling trade by destroying the product. In 2001, 5,500 asylum seekers arrived by boat. In 2002, that number dropped to one. Over the next five years, there were 288 arrivals. Since Labor scrapped the policy in 2008, 10,618 asylum seekers have arrived by boat, including the 63 found north of Broome yesterday afternoon. Those numbers have won at least one high-profile convert. I didn't change my mind on the, the morality of the question. I changed my mind because I thought the friends of the asylum seekers or the left were being dishonest about whether or not the Pacific Solution had acted as a deterrent, stopping boats arriving. Robert Mann now believes that offshore processing is the lesser of two evils. Very reluctantly I've come to the view that probably a form of offshore, offshore processing uh, is the only way. He also believes that part of any solution must include increasing the refugee intake from Indonesia. I do think it's up to friends of asylum seekers to try and balance offshore processing 
with a larger annual quota of refugees. Chris Bowen and Julia Gillard will know better than anyone that to simply rebadge the Pacific solution would create enormous problems for the government. So there must be more to it. The question is what? Or perhaps how many other countries might buy into the idea, diffusing the notion that Australia is simply looking after itself. Because if it is a rerun of the past, the political damage caused by a backflip of this magnitude is already written in Labor's own words. Of course what we've seen this week, which is the start of the unravelling of the so-called Pacific solution, the themes of all of these problems that are besetting the government is a problem of competence and a problem of honesty. Chris Yulman with that report.